In this quick video tutorial we will be discussing how to start Podman containers on boot. If you are used to Docker, it may come as a surprise that this is not so simple with Podman. Don't fret. We will show you how to create system service units for your Podman containers. Once you have the service unit created, you can start, stop and enable it just like any other daemon. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The first step is to create and start your container. Creating containers is outside the scope of this tutorial, but if you are here chances are you have this step done already. For this example I will be using the Unify controller that I have running in a Podman container. This is a perfect use case since I need this container running at all times and would like it to start automatically if the machine is rebooted. Now that we have a container configured and running, let's create a systemd unit file for it. Podman makes it simple to create a systemd unit file for your containers with Podman Generate. Let's use it to generate the service unit file. In this example we are using the command podman generate systemd with a few options then passing the name of the container we want to make a service unit for. In this case the name of my container is unify dev. As you can see this command generates the systemd service unit file and outputs it to the screen. Now we can use simple redirection to create a unit file in a location that systemd will know to look for it. In this case, we are going to use a folder in our home directory designed for user-specific units. This is safest since we don't want the container to run as root. Now that we have our service unit file generated and saved to the correct location, let's ensure the permissions and SE Linux context is set correctly. The file does not need to be executable and it will need the correct SE Linux context to run. There, that should do it. Now that we have our service unit file ready to go, let's reload systemd so it knows about our new service. We can do this simply by using systemctl daemon reload like so. Now that the service unit is loaded, we can manage it with systemctl just like any other daemon or service. First, let's enable it so it will start on boot. Perfect. Now our container is set to start on boot. Let's check the service unit status just to be sure. See here where it says enabled. That indicates that is now configured to start on boot. That's it. Your Podman container should now start on boot. If this tutorial was too fast, or if you want to be able to copy and paste, please visit our website for the text version of this tutorial. If you found this helpful please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.